Good morning, grade eights. Um, today we are starting with geometry of 2D shapes, angles of a triangle. You will remember that last week we looked at um, uh, where we looked at uh, sorry angles of straight lines, where we had examples of two angles lying on a straight line gives you 180, and that would give you angles on a straight line. We looked at vertically opposite angles. We looked at angles around a point, all at, add up to 360 degrees. And then today, we are going to look at geometry that involves um, 2D shapes. And specifically, we want to look at the triangle. Okay, first of all, we just want to classify the triangles in terms of their sides. So you get an equilateral triangle, which means all three sides are equal, as indicated, with a little stripe on each side. Also, all three angles are exactly the same size. They are equal in size. So the only thing that they can equal to is 60 degrees, because 180 degrees divided by 3 gives you 60 degrees. Then you also look in the middle, you get the isosceles triangle, which has two sides that are equal. We always call it the two legs are equal. And then also, if you look at the legs and at the bottom of the two legs, I always say it's the two feet. The two feet, the angles are also equal. Then you also get a scalene, ang uh, sorry, scalene triangle. Zero sides are equal and zero angles are equal. So mainly we're going to focus on the equilateral triangle and the isosceles triangle. Okay, let's look at our first statement and reason. Number one, hashtag number one. If you look at a triangle, any triangle, um, what is so um, special about a triangle is that all three sides inside or all three angles inside add up to 180 degrees. So if you had to write up the statement, you can say A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. And your reason there is interior angles of a triangle. Okay, so please remember that all three um, with any triangle, doesn't matter what triangle you have, all three angles inside always add up to 180 degrees. And the reason we use for that is interior angles of a triangle. For example, let's look at this one. It says um, one of the angles are 38 degrees, the other one is x, and the other one is x plus 2. But we know that this is a triangle. And that all angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So you're going to say x plus 38 plus x plus 2 is equal to 180 degrees. And your reason there is interior angles of a triangle. Now you use your um, equations that we've learned previous to the geometry that we started to solve for x. So on the left-hand side, you want to simplify that. So x plus x is 2x, and 38 plus 2 is 40. When you throw that 40 over, you do the inverse of plus 40, you minus 40 on the other side. You are left with 2x is equal to 140. And then if you divide both sides with 2 to get x alone, you get x is 70 degrees. All right, let's have a look at the next reason that we can use uh, the next special angles that's formed with a triangle. And this is what we call the exterior angle of a triangle. So in the previous slide, we, heard, we looked at the interior angles of a triangle. Now we're going to look at the exterior angles of a triangle. Okay, if you look at your picture, very important. That line that comes from um, D over there, it, it has to be a straight line that is joined to the triangle. So you must see that exterior angle D, which is indicated there as D as the exterior angle, that angle is equal to, if you look at the inside, the 
opposite interior angles. So that A and B added together will give you that exterior angle. Okay, let's look at exa an example. Okay, so if you look at the left hand side, if you have to find T1, they say calculate the value of T1. So we know that T1 is the exterior angle of that triangle, and that is equal to the opposite interior angle of that angle. So if you go to the inside, the opposite is that 80 and 60, angle S and angle R. So angle S and angle R is equal to angle T1. What is my reason? Exterior angles of a triangle. So if you say 80 plus 60 is 140, so T1 is equal to that 80 and 60 added together, which gives you 140. Okay, let's have a look at the right-hand side picture. You can see that the interior angles is S and R. They added together are the interior angles is equal to that exterior angle 78 degrees. So you're going to do your write-up as X plus 55 is equal to 78. Your reason is exterior angles of a triangle. Find X alone. You throw over that 55, so it becomes a negative 55. So you get X is 23 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at the special angles of an isosceles triangle. The angles of a triangle. If you have a look here, you can see that it's an isosceles triangle. Why? Because of those two legs that are equal. If those two legs are equal, equal, that means that the shoes that those two legs are wearing, which means that angle over there and this angle at the bottom there, is equal to each other. Okay, so I always see it as a little person that's got two legs and the feet then at the bottom is also then the same. So if the two legs are the same length, automatically it makes the two feet, the two angles there at the bottom, the same as well. And we call it the angles opposite equal sides are equal to each other. But I'll show you how we abbreviate it um, next. Okay, also just the other way around, if those two angles are the same, you can immediately then say, okay, but the two legs would also be the same length then. Okay, so if you see the two, um, two angles at the bottom being the same size, then you know it's an isosceles triangle, which means the two legs are also the same length. Okay, let's have a look at an example. Over here, we're just going to find why, but can you see that the two legs are the same? Can you see those two legs? the length of those two sides are the same size. So which automatically means that the two shoes at the bottom of them, okay, the two angles at the bottom of those two legs will also automatically be the same. So immediately you can just say, but Y is then also equal to 52. And the reason with, with all of these, we're going to use angles opposite equal sides. Okay, I always... Tell my kids to remember this. You take your hand and you pretend that you are DJing <laughs> and you put your, um, your angle, you make your hand like an angle sign as if you are holding your earphones and then you go angles, oh, 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 oh. then you are spinning the DJ, the, the, <laughs> the DJ disc or what you call it, oh, 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 opposite and then you throw it, equal sides. Okay, so please remember you take your hand up, you hold your earphones, angles opposite equal sides. Okay, and then the last one is the equilateral triangle. So just remember, I'm not going to show you an example with this, but immediately if all the sides are given the same, you will know that it is an equilateral triangle, which makes all the angles. Um, of that triangle also equal. Okay, thank you grade eights. Let's quickly just have a look at the example textbook. Okay, example one, can you see immediately? It's an interior angle of a triangle. 
they call it angles of a triangle. That is also fine. I just always like to remind myself interior angles of a triangle or exterior angles of a triangle. But you are welcome if you talk about interior angles, interior angles of a triangle, just to talk about angles of a triangle as well. Okay, how do you set up your statement? X plus 65 plus 45 is equal to 180. The reason there, angles of a triangle or interior angles of a triangle. And then you throw over the whole numbers and you find X is 70. Let's look at example two. Can you see that it's exterior angles of a triangle? That X over there is equal to the opposite interior angles added together. So X is equal to 73 plus 32, which gives you that X is 105. Very important there, your reason, exterior angles of a triangle. Okay, let's have a look at example three. Determine the values of X and Y. Okay, if you look at X, aha, this, what is this? It's an isosceles triangle. Okay, it's been given that LM is equal to LN. So immediately you know that it is an isosceles triangle. I always remember that like <laughs> a sausage. It's a little girl that likes sausages, a sausages, like a, a chubby little girl eating sausages. <laughs> and remember isosceles, her name is isosceles, and she's got two legs. And then the two angles, the two feet is the same size or the same, yeah, the same size. Okay, and they ask you to find X and Y. So first of all, you can say Y is equal to 7. Why? Because the two legs, it's given. Um, you didn't even have to write that. You could have just said given because LM is given is equal to LN. Then, because this is an isosceles triangle, X is equal to 58. And you could have written there angles opposite equal sides, okay, or opposite sides equal, okay. But for, for both, to make them both true, doesn't matter from which side you look at it, you can always just say angles opposite equal sides when you are dealing with an isosceles triangle. Okay, thank you, grade eights. Thank you for watching. I just want to see, I don't think there's another slide, but you must have a wonderful day. No, wait, there is another slide. <laughs> okay, triangle PQR is an equilateral triangle. Determine the values of X, Y, and also of A, B, and C. Okay, so immediately, can you see that A, B, and C would be equal to 60? Why? Because it's been given that this triangle is an equilateral triangle. And we know that if an equilateral triangle, um, with an equilateral triangle, that all the angle size sizes are 60 degrees. Okay, but what's also uh, true with the equilateral triangle is that all the sides are equal. So X and Y is also equal to 5 centimeters because it's been given that triangle PQR is equilateral. Okay, that is the, fi the final slide. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you understand these. And now you can um, enjoy your day. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.